Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Please forgive me because rather than a weekly, we've got a fortnightly this week and it's from the 30th of May to the 13th of June. That's because I'm off on an awfully big adventure, which I'll tell you about very soon. Anyway, back to you. This is a massive two weeks, particularly the first week where we're not only do we have a new moon, but this new moon is bringing about a massive cycle of change in relationships as we have that new moon conjunct Venus. Having said that, it's not that simple as we also have a mutable grand cross. But there are many, many things that we can get out of this, including a real big change for our relationships. Now, these two weeks are very, very interesting because yeah, there will be a bit of push me, pull me energy, particularly in the first week, but then you really reach your stride and great things could happen, particularly around your career. But the first week is all about balance and reality. Two things actually you're normally familiar with. Kicks off with a mutable grand cross. Nonetheless, it's a powerful energy and it's hitting you in all different directions. It may be that recently you have felt very overwhelmed by responsibility, maybe family, lovers, career, things to do around your home and you're like, oh, I can't really keep up. I'm exhausted and I need some space. So let's look on the bright side. This mutable Grand Cross is saying to you, yeah, be honest about the fact you're overwhelmed in whatever area it is and try and seek balance and sort of stand your ground in a nice way and say, okay, this is my boundary. I now need to take a little bit of me time. Then that energy should wash over you and hopefully you'll come back into your power and your strength because you've looked after yourself. And that really is the key of this week. Are you looking after yourself? Now, the other key of this week is that there is great opportunity around your career. And in fact, the week after that is even better when it comes to your career. You are rocking and you are rolling and you have a seed or even a lightning bolt of, of wisdom about what to do next when it comes to your career and being out there in the world. And if you're not interested in your career, about your sense of what your life purpose is. Now, we do have lots of things particularly going on on the new moon on the 4th. Now this new moon is a breakthrough for you because it's a breakthrough in your career. You can put aside any problems in the past, it, an opportunity for a new job, endings, beginnings, and an opportunity to really forge ahead, seeing the new when it comes to your career and feeling positive and able to take your career in a new direction. Okay, initially you have to be a bit careful because Venus is squaring Jupiter in your position of yourself. So in a, in a way, how balanced are your relationships? Are they preventing you from growing? Are they creating any imbalance in your career? This is the week to look at those symptoms. Also, Saturn is saying, how are you getting on taking care of your home? Do you want to sell it? Does it need redecorating? Do you need to put the energy into it? Sprinkle a little bit of energy and responsibility into your home and family, and it should work wonders. But again, if those are the areas you're overwhelmed, seek support. Now we then have a Sun and Venus conjunction and Mercury, your ruler, going into your position of career, and you're like, yeah, this is good. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling loved. And the following week is a lot easier than the first, but if you do the work in the first, it will be, oh, you know, even better. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk.